Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss the following problem. So I have this series and I want to find the sum of the series. And this series you can see it's a little bit familiar to geometric series, but instead of just a plus a square plus a cube, we have additional cosine factor. And actually by using the method that I'm going to show you, you can uh, apply that method to find the finite sum of cosines and sines. I hope you're going to enjoy this video and thank you for watching. So we want to find the series and we can see that cosine is involved in this series. So we know in which formula we can find cosine. And one of the most famous formula we're going to use, we're going to use that e i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. So we're going to use this formula to find the series. And how are we going to do this? We're going to consider another series and we're going to consider a times e i theta plus a square ei2 theta and then we're gonna use that uh, definition of exponent and exponent is cosine just i sine so we're gonna rewrite this as a times uh, cosine theta plus i sine theta and here we're gonna also get cosine 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta and etc the same for all other terms and we can see that this series is going to split into two series. Uh, the series real, uh, with real, uh, with real part, and series as imaginary part. So we're going to have that for real part, a cosine theta plus a square cosine two theta, and etc. And for imaginary part, we're going to have a times sine theta plus a square sine two theta and and so on okay and we can see from one side like this series uh, we have our original series that we want to find but let's take a look at this series from other side and let's rewrite the series in, in this line so we're gonna get a e i theta plus but here i can see that i have a squared times uh, e times i to theta and I know that if I'm going to take the n term, so a to the n times e i n theta, then this term is equals to a e i theta to the power of n. So my second term is going to be a times e i theta square. And my third term accordingly is going to be a plus uh, a times uh, e i theta cube answer. So this series is actually going to be a geometric series and we know that if you have geometric series in the form of b plus bq plus bq square and etc uh, then in a case if my uh, if my q the absolute value of my q is going to be less than one that the whole series is equals to b minus one one minus q it's true if absolute value of q is less than 1. So let's figure out what is my a in my q in this case. I can see that b is my first term, it's my b. And what is my q? My q is going to be the same term. And the only thing that we need to check, we need to check that our q actually is going to be for, uh, for which q uh, its absolute value is going to be less than 1. So let's consider, so our q is a times e i theta. So I will have this is equal to absolute value of a times e theta. And here I can, uh, absolute value of a product is product of absolute values. So I have absolute value of a times absolute value of i theta. And here I can see what is the absolute value of i theta. Absolute of value of i theta is just it's going to be square root of cosine squared theta plus sine squared square theta. Because uh, this formula, we have a circle in complex plane. And this one is equals to 1. So this term equals to 1. So I have just absolute value of A. So I know that this series is going to converge if my absolute value of A is less than 1. And we are done almost. 
So we can find the sum of this series. And I will get that uh, this is going to be true if absolute value of a is less than 1. Okay, so uh, I checked my condition and I found my B and Q for geometric series. So the whole thing is equals to uh, B, which is, in our case is A i theta over uh, 1 minus Q, so 1 minus A i theta. Yeah, and we're done uh, with our first step. So first step, from one side, what we did, we consider this sequence. Oh, sorry, this series. And from one side, this series equals to this sum. And from another side, this series equals to this expression. But we can see uh, in this expression, we have real and imaginary part. And we are interested for the value for the real part. So what we're going to do here, here we're going to try to do some uh, algebra to get separate our real part and our imaginary part. And uh, the real part for this expression is going to be exactly the answer for the series, or in other words, it's going to be the sum of our series original one. So we want to, uh, for this term, get real part separately and imaginary part separately. So let's do it. So we know in the case if we have, for example, like one, one minus square root of two, in this case, if we want to get rid of uh, rationality in our denominator, we just need to multiply uh, top part and bottom part by one plus square root of two. But in this case, we want to do the same procedure, but we're gonna uh, multiply uh, both parts by this term. We're gonna take one minus a i minus i theta from one side, and here is also gonna be one minus a uh, uh, e to the minus i, i theta. And if you're going to do algebra over here, you can see that what we're going to get on the top part. On the top part, we have a times e to the i theta. And this is minus. And when you're going to have minus, I will have a square. But when I am going to multiply two numbers with the same base, I'm going to add exponent. But my exponent is i theta minus i theta, so it's going to be 0, so it's going to be times 1. Uh, it's for the top part. What about for the bottom part? For the bottom part, we're going to have first term is 1. Uh, then I'm going to have minus a e i theta minus a e minus i theta. So I can factor my minus a, and I'm going to have e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta. And the last part I'm going to have is this term, so it's going to be a square times e. And again, like, I'm going to multiply both e's, so I'm going to add the exponents. So it means, like, exponents are going to be 0, so it's going to be just a square. Okay. And here I'm almost done. I just need to remember a couple of things. So the first thing that I need to remember is that what is e i theta plus e minus i theta? So I have e i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. And e minus i theta is going to be equals to cosine uh, minus theta uh, plus uh, i sine minus theta. Since uh, cosine function is even, uh, this, uh, I can get rid of this minus sine. And since sine function is odd, this minus sine can go uh, in front of. And then what I can do, if I'm going to add them up, I will get rid of this part and I will have just 2 cosine theta. So we know like this term is going to be 2 cosine theta. So what we're going to get, we're going to get the following. Uh, let's write e i theta in terms of uh, cosine and i sine theta. So I will have a times cosine theta plus i sine theta. And here I'm going to have minus a square. And what I'm going to get on the bottom, on the bottom I'm going to get 1 minus, uh, I have this 2 cosine, so 2a cosine theta. And uh, this one plus a square. And we can see that this actual sum is going to separate into two parts, real and imaginary. And my real part is going to be a cosine theta minus a square.
and plus plus imaginary part. I'm gonna have just i times a sine theta and on the bottom we'll have 1 minus 2a cosine theta plus a squared. Okay, and you can see, and we basically done, why? Because right now, what we know? We know that this sum from one side equals to this two expression, imaginary part plus real part. But here from other side, this sum is equal, uh, where is it, where, uh, equal to this expression. And this expression also have real part and imaginary part. And if you're going to name this part A and this part B, then we can say that this A is the same as this A. And we actually not only find uh, uh, the result, the sum for this series, we also find the sum for series where we have instead of cosine, sine. Why? Because if this is this B, this is going to be a result for uh, sine function. So, uh, and here we are done. We have that the whole series is just going to be equals to uh, a cosine theta minus a square over uh, 1 minus 2a cosine theta uh, plus a squared.